we need to come together and focus all of our energy and resources on defeating crooked Joe Biden. We have to do it. We have to get him out. He is a threat to democracy. He really is. He's a threat to democracy. And we have to get him out. You know why he's a threat to democracy, right? A couple of reasons, but you know the first uh -huh. reason? He's grossly incompetent. <coughs> sure. We'll end up in a world war because of this guy. The bombs roar. Look at the Middle East now again. Here we go again. The bombs are being dropped all over the place. They have no idea what they're doing. The Secretary of Defense is missing in action. And then they find him. You know how he's running the war? A laptop from his stomach laying in a hospital bed. Can't do that. Same people that gave us Afghanistan, that removal, the worst removal, the worst, I think the most embarrassing event in the history of our country. Those are the people that are running these wars. Nobody ever gets fired. I fired Comey. I fired a lot of people. In fact, people said I fired so many people. When somebody's bad, you got to fire them. Here's a guy, they don't win wars, they don't do anything right, and nobody ever gets fired. I guess they know too much. Does anyone know what that means? I know what that means. Sadly, not everyone is willing to put our country first. This is called America First territory. It's America First. So here in New Hampshire, Nikki Haley, I know her well. <laughs> the guy screaming, bird brain. Only in New Hampshire does that happen. But she's made an unholy alliance with the rhinos, the never Trumpers, Americans for no prosperity, globalists, the radical left communists, and they want to get liberals and Biden supporters. That's what they want. And you know, you have a governor here that allows Democrats to vote in the Republican primary. What's that all about? Your governor, and you know, he'll be coming and he'll be calling me after the election. I want to congratulate you very much. I want to... This guy allows independents, many of whom are Democrats, independents and Democrats to vote in the Republican primary. What the hell is that all about? But despite that, we're going to win by very big numbers. In Iowa, nearly 50% of Haley's voters think of